Okay, so just a small comment before we go in there. The first comment is to allow the person who leaked the report, right? Yes, because um, one thing that would not escape you is that the fact that that person has strengthened our democracy. Because I, I believe but, it's Kevin Taylor. Uh, okay. Loud silence, not much. So if you read it, you see his water gram. He, he, he logo was first, in there. The one He's the first person to have leaked the okay. Kevin yeah. Taylor of Loud Silence. Okay. Ah, well, commendations to him because this helps our democracy a lot. Because you see that for the president, he was interested in what? Shielding the appointees involved. So he didn't <laughs> have any incentive to bring it out. You know, that's how he behaves. You remember this uh, NDA matter? Uh, Dr. Namzo had reported that public officers were about to steal money. He didn't do anything for about five months until I took it uh, to t uh, this Joy FM city and then subsequently mm -hmm. here. Right? So it's the president's talk so, to So you are saying he, he didn't do anything in, in that particular instance? Oh, yes. You know? For over five months. The vice president was copied, the chief of staff, the letter was addressed to the chief of staff. All of them they didn't so do anything. how did you know the that he didn't do anything? Court. Oh, because I finally, it's when I report, um, I mean, blew it up on air and then finally went to special prosecutor and special prosecutor stepped in and then did the investigations. And the people are now before court. They were going to treat it as a foolish case. You see, that's how the president behaves. He's not interested in fighting corruption. You, you hear even from page one what Professor from Pomboati said. He said the corruption is unimaginable in Minerals Commission. Then he goes on to talk about the police, the uh, this military, etc. Good. So you're saying that what should he have done? In a matter like this, Alfred, in a matter like this, the best that the president, or let me say one of the most viable things he had to do, was to set up a commission of inquiry. You see, because it is a matter of national interest. A commission of inquiry. Yes, as sanctioned by the constitution. Because when you do that, what it does is that then it gives the people the opportunity to come. Everybody will have their say publicly. Commission of inquiry, Professor Jampo, you support it? Yes. Ah, commission of inquiry, because when you do that, yes, uh, 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 of course, the word independent is very, very important. An independent but, commission yes. of inquiry. <laughs> yes, otherwise, if you don't put to say, I mean, party foot soldiers like what he has done to the Electoral Commission, you will, so, not, you will never get independence. So, Remember the Electoral Commission appointed Dr. Pia Hine and the Salim How, how would this independent commission of inquiry function, as it were, to establish the facts beyond the responses of the people who have been captured in there as having allegedly been involved in illegal mining. Great. So you know that from the way we do it, they would have sat openly. You remember Ayawasu West were going, uh, this in by elections violence, uh, the one that indicted uh, Brian Champo and the rest, the, national, mm -hmm. the party food soldiers who were given national security uniforms and the rest, that day of shame. So you see that they sat in the public, people were cross-examining Azugu and Co. in public, and we all heard and made up our minds even before the commission report came. So that was the style that the president was supposed to use. But you know, because the president has sworn never to fight corruption, but to cover up things, all he had to do was to cover up, just pretend like the report doesn't exist. Okay? The, the president sworn to uh, by, by his deeds. So I so, so, <laughs> yes, but so, indeed, that's Martin, where I understand. Uh, ah, what uh, do you uh, think? Uh, and the president uh, is not interested in fighting corruption. That's uh, how we see it. Yes, so, uh, so, what, what, you, you are making reference to the constitution, exactly. Yes, mm. I want to read the relevant. So there are three grounds. Council of State. The, so Honorable Sam George, you guys are also indicted here. So did you ever... Me, so you guys. <laughs> as MPs. Because members of parliament under Article 278, you can also call, uh, ask for the president to set up a commission of inquiry as uh, uh, the, the body. You know, parliament, the, the you have a duty. The things you've asked the president to do, has he listened to uh, you? No, 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 no but, but you are representatives. So, so look but, at but, Article but, yeah, that, that would have been Let's, done if the MPs had knowledge of this report, yes. correct? Yes. Uh, but, so now that the report is public, you would expect that yes, yes, you want should, them to. Yes, they should wait in. So let's go uh, to 270. So when we come I back see. from recess, yes. we'll, it we'll says be, that, we call for a parliamentary probe or something. Excellent. It says that subject to Article 5 of this constitution, the president shall, by constitutional instrument, appoint a commission of inquiry into any matter of public interest where A, the president is satisfied that a commission of inquiry should be, appoint, should be appointed or B, the Council of State, 
advises that it is in the public interest to do so, or C, Parliament, by a resolution, requests that a commission of inquiry be appointed to inquire into any matter mm. specified in the resolution as being a matter of public importance. So our uh, MPs, we are looking mm -hmm. forward to this. Activate it as a body. You should be able to come together. Because, look, you heard uh, this uh, Honorable Kenka read Article 36, Clause 9. That says that the state should take steps to protect the environment. Take steps to protect the environment, and so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. we can't sit down and allow this thing to continue. Especially in the uh, uh, background or in the context that there was an earlier tip, once again, Honorable Penka referred to where from Pombati was in there. They were saying, Party here, Sika. So Galam says, should go on. Party here, Sika. Party here, Sika. A report that at page uh, 40, which page that the police service is indicted, that the police service, where the policemen were taking bribes. So IGP, you two, there's a portion for you, page 10. He says, <laughs> police were going around taking bribes. Yeah. At page 13 of it, right? Then, of course, you go to the military and all this. So we all have a stake in this particular report that let's do a commission of inquiry mm -hmm. style so that the people will be cross-examined. Because, look, for Professor Frimpong, this professor, you remember how Honorable Sam, Sam George referred to him to, make, to give such a report? Hmm? Then let's not underestimate it too. Listen, I want to read the one the MP came, the Honorable Kwam, he came to deny. Listen, he says, page 12, talking about Honorable Kwam, he said, he used his position as a member of the Minerals Commission to acquire several dozens of large-scale concessions in his district, ostensibly for community mining purposes. He ended up selling these concessions to private individuals including party members, for 200,000 cities per concession. Then he went on. So in 2020, no, the electorate well, come voted. this morning to say it's not true. Yeah, and I'm he saying that, no. Honorable uh, Professor from Pomp, what thing is still alive? For him to write this, I think, look, listen, we have to go into a commission of inquiry. A commission because, of inquiry. Yes, because you go on the other pages, page 13 or so, you hear him mention Lord Comey, uh, Charles Niteko, uh, Tego, all right? And all the other people. You, I mean, no, especially looking at Professor from Pomp Watting's stature. And it's not as if he's sick. So far, we've not seen anything like maybe he's suffering from Kuku Blibli or Gwishi or anything. <laughs> uh, there's no such evidence. So, once we don't, yes, it's true. He hasn't shown that there's Kuku Blibli or Gwishi or anything. So, naturally, the best we have to do is that let's go in for a commission of inquiry. Yeah, because too many people, look, page 14. He indicts S.K. Boafu, the chairman of the Minerals Commission Board. He says when they were going to launch the community mining thing, S.K. Boafu called the district chief executive and told him to block the program. Then this was reported to chief of staff. Chief of staff didn't do much, right? He goes on so, so, so many people, mentions people, eh? NDC people involved in Galamse. He says in uh, Western region, mm -hmm. the NDC people... They, they, are, they, they have an upper hand in Galamse. That's page 13. He says, more NDC in illegal mining in Western region than uh, the MPP people. And yes. so when uh, 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 this uh, vanguard was stopped, it gave NDC an upper hand. So they, their people were able to mine and use their money to sponsor candidates, and etc. That the police were saying, the police, when vanguard was taken out, and then the police took over, the police who went there, they were uh, 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 NDC police, I mean, like NDC sympathizers. So they mm. said, we're brought here by the government you <laughs> voted for. <laughs> Can you imagine policemen <laughs> saying that? So this is on page 25 of the report. Uh, we're brought yes. here. We're sent by the government you voted for. Hey, Charlie, there are things in this uh, report too. Professor Fumpo, God bless you for writing it and kevin taylor god bless you for leaking it and you see when you mention leakage you know i've been reading this woman's book uh, no higher honor by condoleezza rice right, right? she louts or uh, though some part she complains but she talks about america too the way state department i mean people in the foreign ministry mm -hmm. right they leak reports and all that right mm -hmm. so you look at it and you see that in a democracy you always need people to leak reports too because if you remember the famous WikiLeaks, yes, mm -hmm. WikiLeaks helped because it brought us so many things, things that they would deny. So you look at page uh, 22, 
she says this, that uh, leaks are debilitating, sowing distract, distrust mm -hmm. among the officials who have to work together and coloring the president's opinion. Mm -hmm. People do it to show mm -hmm. that they are in the know, <laughs> or to advance a position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people leak to show that they, they are in the know or to advance a position. And I'm saying this one, it has advanced our, our democracy because now it's brought everything to the table. So the president was fleeing from it, but he's been caught so with his tail between his legs. Mm. Hmm? Yes, it's been, the president has been caught with his tail between his legs. He was running away from this report, but Kama is caught up with him. Now he has to deal with it. Let's go into the commission of inquiry. Let's deal with all the details. So the commission of inquiry can be, per the law, at the instance of the president or Thank parliament. You. Thank you. Or the so, council of or state. Or the council of state. Thank you. So in this instance, if, if the president does not do it, mm -hmm. yeah. members of parliament can call for a commission of inquiry to be established. Yes. Or the council of state can do so. These yeah. are the three ways Excellent. the commission of inquiry can be established to look into mm -hmm. the details of it. Because you see, mm -hmm. in the end, that's this report has been leaked. Mm -hmm. And the people captured in there are all coming out to deny. Mm -hmm. How do we, as a mm -hmm. people, Excellent. get to know the facts? Say that again. Yes. Be beyond reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. So that, yes, even though the people have come to also explain and try to clear their names mm -hmm. and respond to the allegations mm -hmm. in there, mm -hmm. Professor Fimpon Boateng would mm -hmm. also be called mm -hmm to now give further and better particulars yes. beyond the details of this report yes. as to why he implicated such persons in the report. Mm -hmm. And these people would also come in, in front of a commissioner we are all seeing mm -hmm. to also respond to it. Yes. Yesterday we put up a question mm -hmm. as to which institution should investigate this beyond the public outcry and the commentary and the condemnation that we, we are doing on TV right now. Mm -hmm which mm -hmm. everybody is incensed about. We are mm -hmm. all angry about the details yes. of this report. Yes. Yeah. Would, should it be the Office of Special Prosecutor, you think? They have a, a role. They have so a role. So what we should do is that let's do the public one first so that we see all the evidence, Fili Fili Gadochi, right? So when we see it that way, then the Special Prosecutor will we'll continue in. because under the constitutional well, instrument... But, but, but you, know, you just need to be minded about... If you want to really have criminal prosecution mm -hmm. and you have a commission of inquiry, mm -hmm. double jeopardy, you remember yeah. people have gone to court to yeah. yes. say that yeah. once there's a presidential commission, once there's a presidential commission, even if you find them, yes. you cannot then prosecute yes. them again. Yes. So yes. if we want to prosecute people for this, let's go full hog. Yes. But if you do a presidential commission, there will be findings, but, yeah. but that is where it ends. Now, that decision is not conclusive. That's a mistake. But there was no appeal to yes. the Supreme Court. Yes, that's yeah. the way so that's the position. That's the position of the law. The position of the law. No, no, no. Let, let's advance the, the commission. The CI says that if you gather your independent evidence, you can go ahead. Uh -huh. But when the person comes before the commission yes. and comes to give evidence, that's what you want to take to prosecute him. Absolutely. No way. I think that is the one. But, yes. exactly. okay. So agree, that's the distinction. Agree, if you can right. gather yeah. your independent, independent evidence, evidence, you can go ahead I and don't allow him to come and give you evidence. Uh -huh. Use his own evidence, evidence. against him. Uh -huh. okay. That is the difference. But we need the public one because, you see, what it does is that then everything has been laid out. We've had various people. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult for people to now seek to kill some of the cases. You see, right. why you just refer everything to special okay. prosecutor. Don't forget, special prosecutor is still not well resourced, though. Special prosecutor has not even received the establishment budget. Remember, this is even something that lawyers at the bar have taken up. They are signing a petition mm -hmm. to present to the president to resource the special prosecutor well. Right. They, they, they are now, uh, I understand, recruiting a few people here and there. Special prosecutor alone can't deal with this yes. at this stage. So let's start something. Then they can do their independent investigations and do their criminal prosecutions. But in the meantime, let's do the two. Mm. Commission of Inquiry, publicly, they should come and answer. That's also accountability. So, so that's the very important thing. 